these devices are not for the faint of heart. Let's just, let's just put it that way. But if you like fidgeting with things and just making it work, buy it. What's up, Buttercups? Mishu here, and today we are going to be talking again about the Live Gamer Portable 2 Plus by Aver Media. Now, in my last video, we went over how to connect sound and OBS. And as many of you learned, this device is kind of a bad boy and a little fickle when it comes to setting up sound. But hopefully, most of you have been able to get a connection to sound so you can play both your games and be able to listen to them while live streaming or recording. Now let's talk about the other function that I didn't talk about in the previous video, which is PC-free game recording. Now PC-free game recording is exactly how it sounds, and it allows you to record without having to connect it to a PC. So the first thing we need to do is make sure it is on the PC-free mode or the little SD card. So there are three knobs here on the front, on this side. The first one is what you're going to need when you connect to your computer. But the second one here, it's, it's shaped like a little square with like a little arrow on it. That means the SD card. So we're going to go ahead and scooch it over to that second position. See, it's minimal changes, but it is on that second position right there. So we need a micro SD card. So there's a little slot on the back here on this side. We're going to put it in there. Make sure it is design side up, chip side down. We're going to plug that in, and mine's going to be facing like this. I'm sure yours is going to be similar, so it has the little notch right there, right? You're going to slide it in, and you're going to put it so far in that you feel like you're going to lose your micro SD card, but I promise you won't. you got to be gentle, but yet firm with it. I seriously thought the first time I did this that I was never getting it back, but I did. It sits like flush with the edge right here, but to get it out, just add a little pressure and it pops back out. <laughs> it is a pretty standard SD card slot, but being the micro one, sometimes you just never know because they're so small. So now that we have our device all set up, we have it set to PC free mode. We inserted our micro SD card. We have to make sure to plug it in correctly. Now I mentioned this in my previous video, but I will say it again. You need three things here in the back to be able to connect it to your device. So obviously we need the power cable so that we can power this device itself. Nothing fancy, nothing crazy. So this though can be powered by any wall charger. If you have an extra one from your phone, it can be powered via a phone battery pack. You know, the external ones that you plug into the wall and charge and they can bring with you on the airplane or whatever. It can be powered by one of those as well, interestingly enough. If you want to do this device, which is the converter for the three, which I use for my Wii, it is also USB powered. So if you decide to go this route and do this plus powering the capture card, you're going to need to make sure you have power for two USBs, which arguably, again, is not a big deal. It's just something you're going to have to think about if you're trying to record in a, a funky space, a hotel room, somewhere different that you wouldn't normally be recording. So I can plug my capture card directly into this one. This is a model that has two slots in it, so it works out pretty well for me. Plug in the end of my converter as well into my battery pack. I'm literally drowning in cables right now. All right, so we got two HDMI ports here that we got to set up. So the in is, it's gonna be whatever device you are putting into your capture card. So your game system, your VCR, whatever it is that you wanna record, that's gonna go plugged into the in. Now the out, is basically whatever screen you're attaching it to. So if you want to be able to see what you're playing, you need to be able to put that into the out. So if you're putting a computer monitor, a TV screen, whatever it is, if you want to be able to see what the device is recording, that's going to go in the out. So assuming it's on PC free mode, which again is this middle option right here, it probably flashed red for a split second and now it's blue. Now blue means that it's just in stable mode. Nothing's happening at the moment. So if we want to be able to record, we have to press this center button to make it turn red. So now that it's flashing red, that means it's recording. We're gaming. We're playing. We're doing whatever it is that we want to do, right? Okay, now we're done. We're ready for it to stop. Personally, I get weirded out sometimes about things recording. So I like to be done 
and then count to 10 seconds before I press the off button. So when you are done recording, we're gonna press the button again. Now it is blue. Blue again, status, we're no longer recording. Oh, you know you wanna keep recording, press it again, it'll flash red. So you keep doing this until you're done, until you're finished with whatever it is that you need to do. That's probably the hardest part. Now that you've finished recording, all you need to do is simply pull out that micro SD card again and plug it into whatever device it is that you want to pull the videos off of. Now you can plug it into your phone, you can plug it into your computer, you can use an adapter, sort of something like this that has the micro SD slot right in it that you can plug directly into your computer. So if you need to buy a device like this, you can find one on Amazon, you can find one pretty much anywhere. They're pretty easy to come by. Personally, I like one that has the micro and the full size SD slots because it just makes my life easier. Interestingly enough, I learned something during this video about this capture card and I might as well share it since I am here doing this anyways. So when I plugged it in, I was gonna try and test it out without having to plug in my Wii or my Switch or any other device because I wanted to be lazy about it but I still wanted to give you a good example. However, the device is smart enough to know that I did not have anything actually going into the in slot, um, which is fascinating. So let me show you real quick how that ended up turning out. Because I know a lot of people in my previous video, which you can view above, were asking, why does this turn solid red? Now, this is one instance of why it turned solid red. I don't know all the instances. There's so many different quirks and whatnot with this device that I can't address everything. But when I plugged it in and I didn't have any cords going into the slot, it turned this. It would flash blue and then it would go to solid red, but nothing would happen when I pressed the button. So if you're getting a solid red, my gut instinct, I don't know if this is a fact or not, I really don't, is that that means nothing's happening. It's not receiving any information. So if it is turning just solid red on you, I would double check your cables. I would, you know, double check your connections and make sure that it is receiving information. Because so far, this is the only instance that I've personally had where it just remains solid red. When you're recording, it should be flashing. And when it's in a status, when it's not recording, it should be blue. So that's just a quick something something. I was asked an interesting question, which motivated me to do this video. Question was, can we use this capture card to be able to record from old video devices? Things that use these components, right? So like old VCRs, old video cameras, that kind of stuff. And I was like, oh, you know, I don't know, but let me find out because that sounds really, really interesting concept wise. And the theory is yes. You can do that in a PC-free mode. You just need this device, the connector in between, which I will link down in the description below. So as far as I can tell, you can literally record any kind of device, capture any kind of device through this capture card. And I think that's pretty rad. I hope this video was helpful to some degree. I know this device is complicated, it's tricky. The Live Gamer Portable 2 Plus by Aver Media is a bit of a bad boy, but honestly, it's a great budget option. I know the price has been fluctuating a lot these past couple of years, but being able to plug it into your computer and do PC free mode is pretty cool. If you have any questions, feel free to ask down in the comments below. I will do my best to answer as many as I can, but I'm no professional. I don't know all the answers, unfortunately. I've just fidgeted with this thing enough that, I don't know, we have a bittersweet relationship at this point. But otherwise, go forth and create. I will see you next time.